Hi, this is Lauren Holmes reporting for Go Garrett Go TV. I'm here at Garrett's first game with former Toronto Argonaut and CFL Hall of Fame quarterback Matt Dunnigan. Mr. Dunnigan, thanks for coming out today and thanks for taking a moment to speak to me for Go Garrett Go TV. Thanks a lot, Lauren. My pleasure. Are you kidding me? Wouldn't miss this for the world. <laughs> So what do you think about Go Garrett Go? First of all, um, football teaches a lot of things, right? It teaches about uh, you know, getting knocked down and getting back up, the importance of teamwork, the importance of uh, helping out your teammates, uh, doing your job, a lot of life lessons. And uh, Go Garrett Go, I think, exemplifies that. And I think that um, yeah, that's, why, that's why I'm here, is, is because the adversity that Garrett has gone through in his life and, his, and your family as well, um, you know, it, it, the whole concept of Go Here Go kind of encompasses what football is all about, teaching life lessons that adversity is going to happen, what we're going to do with it, what's important, how we handle adversity. And certainly, Go Here Go is an indication of how your family and here are handling the adversity that you have. Did you play organized football at Garrett's age when you were growing up in the U.S.? Yeah, sure did. Yeah, I started when I was in diapers, you know. <laughs> kind of like they do with hockey here in Canada. You know, I was, as soon as you could walk, you had a football and you are playing organized. They put a helmet pads on, away you went. And so, yeah, I was doing that, uh, loving every minute of it. What advice would you give to young players from the two teams here today? Fly around, have some fun. Uh, don't wait for it to happen, make it happen. And, uh, and you know, practice is where you, you know, where you are getting coached up, when you're working on the intricacies of the game, what to do and what not to do. If you're in a football game, just going out there playing and having fun, I would, I would suggest everybody out here. So, and that's what we did tell them before both teams, we told the Express and the Cowboys, go out there, have fun, fly around, and make things happen. You look like you can still go on the field and play. That's right, I can. Because I'm fit. Yeah. <laughs> Do you miss playing football? Yeah, no, not really. No? Not really, no. Uh, you know, you always hear the guys talk about the locker room and the friends and relationships. I still have all those things, um, you know, because you, know, you work hard at forming those relationships and, and uh, you know, continue. You know, I always say if you want a friend, you have to be a friend. And so you always reach out to the guys. So we've got our locker room extended way past our football career. And uh, I, don't, I don't miss the bomb or you know, it's like, I'm through with that. Game passes by quickly, Lauren. Look at me, look at me, I'm a mess. Is there anything you'd like to say to Garrett as he starts his quest to score and throw touchdowns and raise money? Uh, you know, um, and that shouldn't be his focus. His focus should be on the game and good things will happen. Um, so he just concentrates on doing what the coach has asked him to do and being a good quarterback and taking care of the football. Uh, good things will happen for him, and, uh, and, and of course, I think it's important you know, to stay on the football field because nothing's going to happen on the sidelines. So you got to stay injury free, and, uh, and, and I think that's, that's, that's extremely important just to have fun play the game. That's great. Thanks very much for coming out today and talking to me. Yeah, Lord Holmes, yeah, right there, baby. <laughs>